Hello YouTube fam, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tina and I make videos on lifestyle, home, and DIY projects every single week. For today's video, I thought that I would take you on my journey of cleaning out my entryway and refreshing it. Right now I'm using it as storage and it looks pretty terrible. I have so many boxes in there and I thought that I would do this video as a little bit of encouragement to you guys to tackle in any space that is kind of intimidating for you, especially for the new year. If you're in the same boat as me, you might have a room or a space that you haven't yet tackled and now is absolutely the time and with the new year here I really really have to do this space just because it is going to be where a lot of my craft storage is so I'll be sharing a few of my favorite storage solutions and hopefully this will help me get my life back on track and also help you guys so let me take you guys off this tripod and take you over to my very messy entryway all right, so welcome to my entryway, AKA my storage room right now. This is actually the first thing that you see when you walk into the apartment. So the front door is right here. And the first thing that you see on the left is just this terrible mess. And um, I can explain maybe. So I started cleaning things, like putting away things from Christmas, but then I also have all of my craft supplies here. So this is partially a mess because I just don't have storage and also because I started putting away things like my Christmas decor and some of my craft supplies just never get put away. They kind of just um, sit on this table and I kind of just grab and go and film. And that's what kind of happens when you have a YouTube channel and one bedroom and you do DIYs every day and yeah. <laughs> my goal here is to try to make it as functional as possible just because this is where I want all my craft supplies to be. I just can't live like this anymore. And if you guys are in the same boat, then I hope that this motivates you to also clean your space. And yeah, we got a lot of work to do. I feel like I'm exposing myself because this is honestly kind of embarrassing that I let it get like this, but honestly, it's just the reality of it. And my goal for this space is just to get it to a place where it's actually functional. So number one, I wanna put all of my DIY supplies here just because it's the only place that will fit it. And number two, I just want it to be a functional entryway where we can actually put on our shoes and put our jackets and our mask and keys and all those things, but also add a little bit of style to it. And I actually am planning to do a little bit of an apartment refresh, so this space is probably gonna look a little bit more different in a month. But for right now, I just needed to be more productive in this area, so let's get started by cleaning up all of my craft supplies. All right, I took a little bit of a break to give Brian a haircut because we're still in quarantine and he has not gotten a haircut since March of last year and we've been cutting his hair at home. Perfect. <laughs> So if you're in the same boat, I totally feel for you. But so far I put everything into boxes. I'm actually waiting for a couple more storage boxes so I can actually put it inside the Calyx unit. But for now, everything is kind of organized. I have that whole back section cleaned out. Starting this process has already made me feel a lot better. And honestly, it looks like a mess still, but I promise you it's all coming together. <sighs> Take a breath. We'll get through this together and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right guys, it's the next day now and I'm back to figuring out this whole mess. Today I got in my storage boxes and these are gonna be such a big help because I have a lot of clear containers. And also the Calyx unit is an open shelving system. So one of the best ways to hide your clutter is just to put it into a box that will cover everything. So I also picked these ones up from Ikea, but they literally only had two more left. And I really love the way these look. They're very sturdy. They are woven and have so much storage and fit perfectly inside the Calyx unit. But unfortunately, when I was there, I grabbed literally the last two that they had. So instead of waiting around for it to come back in stock, because honestly, Ikea has been on back order for a lot of things. Instead, I got those white ones and those were honestly just a quarter of the price. So what I'm planning to do is to put everything in these bins and they're gonna line the bottom row. And then the top row will be a little bit of functionality slash decor. I'm sure there's gonna be more organization after that, but let me show you guys how I'm storing all my craft supplies. Okay, so I have all my boxes lined up right here 
And then here is all of my craft supplies. I'm sure that there's more sitting in a closet, but this is like my most used stuff. So you guys are probably familiar with all these things. I use them all the time. So I have some stationary things, some dried florals, paint brushes, glues. And I also have a rolling cart, which is going to be my main storage for things that I grab most often. So the things that are going into these boxes is things that are a little bit bigger or items that I don't need every single day. So they go into here and they're just going to be ready whenever I need them for my projects. But this is just going to be a way better system. <music> So I just finished and I'm really happy with how everything turned out. So here is all the stuff. Let me go through it really quickly with you guys. So I have everything kind of sorted into materials slash steps. So this one right here is like raw materials. So I have wood things, gold, beads, wire, that kind of a thing. And then this next one is more things for textile projects. So I have yarn as you guys saw and then i have punch needle things as well pom pom maker obviously and then i have this little container which has all of my scrap yarn in it just because i like to save them in case i use them for future projects this next one is more like tools and things so i have glue in there twine ribbon is all in there and of course i labeled oh my knees oh my gosh of course i labeled everything on top just so i can get it all nice and organized in each bin since they are pretty deep and full but What's nice is that I can just pull these out and see exactly what's in it every single time that I do a project. And then this last bin of the white ones at least is my clay. So I have polymer as well as air dry clay and then any other tools that I use with it. And then this last one here is going to be just like my macrame in here. I thought I had more but I think I might have used it. And this last one, I'm just gonna put hats in here just so that it's a little bit more functional as an entryway. So that sums up all of these and I just wanted to show you quickly before I put them all away. And the last thing is this little corner and I'm just gonna put everything into a cart. <music> Okay guys, so I hope I'm not alone when it comes to this giant pile of shoes. It literally looks like a family lives here, but it's just Brian and I. And I got a shoe rack just to make use of vertical space. I got this one because you could stack it all together or you could put them next to each other. So it's super versatile. And we are the type of people to just take off our shoes as we're walking into the home. One day I aspired to have a shoe cabinet that hides all of our shoes out of sight. But honestly, that's not how we function. So the storage solution just made sense for us. And I think that's something important to keep in mind when you're making over or refreshing your space. Not everything has to be tucked away and look perfect all the time. Find solutions that work best for you. Sometimes it's hard to envision things until you actually move it around, so play around with the layout. I tried the shoe rack as a tower, putting them next to each other, and I also changed the positioning of it and found the best configuration for it, and I'm really happy with how it looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a rug to this space. The one that I picked up is the Target rug that I've seen many times before on the internet and it is the Riviana rug. This one is very popular. I got it in a runner and I was so happy to see that it was in stock. So let's lay this down and see how it looks. Okay, so I actually left you guys hanging because I got a little distracted. I went to eat dinner and then I got a little lazy. So now I'm back and I'm here to style everything. I actually also built my little cart last night and I actually wasn't planning to put it in this video, but I figured I might as well include it, especially since a lot of this is craft storage. So I wanna show you guys what I've done to it. So I'm just putting it here for now, but I will move it out to my craft table later. But I basically just have all of the most used items on top. So my pens and pencils, scissors, 
craft knives, glue gun, obviously, paint brushes, that sort of thing. And then I put my most used paints over here and this obviously is filled with a lot of neutral colors because that's what I do a lot of on this channel. And then at the bottom, I have the storage for some of my bullet journal stuff and then some watercolors and things like that. I've shared these acrylic drawers before, but they're honestly my favorites for pen storage or bathroom storage or anything else. And then on the side, I actually put some of these little hooks from Dollar Tree. So I put a binder clip on the glue and just hung it on the side here. I know that they make cards with hooks on the side, but I thought this was just a much more customized version and also a lot cheaper so I would totally recommend this if you guys are looking for a craft storage solution. All right and then on this table I just have all of the things that I want to style with. I honestly did not buy anything new for this space. The only things I bought are the cubes, the runner rug, and then this shoe rack but everything else I already had so that's a really great way just to save some money and also just reuse what you have and refresh your space. And same thing with these art prints, these are usually in my living room but I just brought them out here because I'm planning on refreshing that space so I might just do a gallery wall right over here. And this is such an awkward wall because this is like an internet box and I thought it was magnetic but it's not so I can't even turn this into a whiteboard. So I'm gonna put up some art and figure out what else I'm doing with this Wall and then just style everything and we should be finished. It's already looking so good in here and I know once I style it, it's going to be unrecognizable and I'm really excited to show you guys. So let's go ahead and roll the styling montage. To cover most of this panel, I decided to add on command hooks to hang our jackets. And I like this style of command hook because they're so much more stylish and are still renter friendly. So this is a great solution, especially when it's the first thing that you see when you walk into the apartment. After adding the hooks, I decided not to do a giant gallery wall like I originally intended. Instead, I put one large frame piece of art which helps fill up the wall nicely. And by putting it up higher, it really draws your eye upwards and adds so much height to this small space. So my apartment comes with these slat wall panels and they are great to customize hooks, wire baskets, and shelves. You can move things around exactly where you'd like it to be, which is super functional. And much like a pegboard, this is also a really great storage solution. All right, it's time to put in the finishing touches. So I'm adding in a few decor pieces and additional storage for accessories and mail. I've been wanting to do this entryway for weeks and I'm so glad that I finally took the time to do it. And if you guys also have a space that you've been wanting to make over, let me know in the comments. I know that you guys can get it done, especially with the new year. This is just the perfect opportunity to do that. And I'm cheering you guys on. Okay guys, it is finally time to reveal this space to you. Let's take a look back at what it looked like before. It was a huge mess. It was basically just a storage unit in the front of our apartment. And anything that I did to this space honestly would have been better than what it looked like before. I'm so happy with how it looks like now. It's just so much more functional. It's also very stylish. It's a much more welcoming space now. So let's take a look at the after. I feel like I can finally breathe after organizing everything and I'm really proud of myself because we didn't really have to declutter or throw anything away. I basically was able to fit everything inside the units or the closet and that makes me really proud because it means that I'm not hoarding things and that I have room to grow my collection. I'm just so happy with the end result of it and I hope that this video also gives you guys the motivation to tackle a space that you've been dreading. Honestly, I was not looking forward to cleaning out this space but I'm so glad that I did because it just feels so much better. I'm so ready to pull together the rest of our place so we have a refresh video coming up as well as a closet makeover a patio makeover because right now it's pretty bare and I really want to get out there more often there's a lot more home content coming up so if you guys would like to see more definitely give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already I post every single week don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you haven't already I'm posting on there every single day and I just love interacting with you guys over there thank you all so much for watching stay inspired and I'll see you in the next one bye